So what we've done is we've been able to pattern graphene and remove single layers at a time. This is single atomic layers for removal of graphene. One cannot make a layer thinner than a single atomic layer. That's it. We have hit the bottom. So this discovery was a complete accident. I mean, I, it was done by accident. We had no idea that we're removing one single carbon layer from graphene oxide or from graphene. We were, what we were trying to do, we were trying to reduce the graphene oxide the new way using zinc and hydrochloric acid. And after treating geoflakes on silicon dioxide substrate, that by that way, we found out that the flakes acquired transparent appearance. It was, um, it appeared like they become absolutely transparent and absolutely clear. First, uh, one uh, treatment was applied to this geoflake and after applying one treatment, uh, flakes look, uh, flakes change, changes its uh, appearance. So it appears like transparent, it becoming more transparent. Why? Because the main flakes body become lighter and actually all the wrinkles and all the folded areas are very well visible in very details. So if I enlarge this, this is well visible. Okay, so compare this is a silicon dioxide substrate, the light area. This is remaining single layer geo. Here this is uh, probably tri-layer geo in this area. Okay, so this was after the first treatment. And after the second treatment, we removed the second remaining layer. And as one can see from the next image, that the flake's main body completely gone. And wrinkles and folded areas are the only areas which are still observable. Even when we consider, for example, this, this owl, the difference in, in color here in the SEM is just due to one atomic layer difference in this graphene material. And so that's what we've been able to accomplish. So single layer graphene oxide is completely gone here, but in the folded area where it was uh, probably the double layer or maybe triple layer, only one layer is removed while other layers are survived. The applications would be for patterning devices. So one always wants to have very good resolution in patterning, de patterning devices. And since graphene has been projected to build many future devices, this allows uh, device engineers and device architects to have very good precision in monolayer versus bilayer versus trilayer graphene because with each layer difference, the electronic properties change. And this will allow the construction of very precise electronics, electronic systems.